hello everyone welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute since i have been on i have just been very busy uh, but i wanted to do a make a mix monday with you guys today i want to uh, make myself a, a green glitter mix i don't have many green glitter mixes as, as i have noticed in my mixes so i wanted to make myself one for myself and then if it comes out nice i'll go ahead and make a bigger batch but right now i'm going to do a small one just to see how it comes out okay so i'm just going to use something small like this and let me get my my little mixer and my spoons it's only going to be one two three let me see one two three four five i pulled out just six six different glitters in the green shades that i wanted to use so the first one i wanted to use was my um my speckled neons which are these and they have a really pretty shimmer to them so i'm gonna add this whole little bag right in there i also am going to add some jelly belly green and I'm just going to use about a teaspoon or so of that. Probably going to go with two because I do like my glitters chunky. So I'm going to do two of those. And this one has a really pretty shimmer too. They're kind of sheer. That's why I call them jelly bellies. But they have a really pretty shimmer to them as well. I'm also going to add a little bit of my holographic macaroons in the green also do two teaspoons and then I also want to add a little bit of golden shimmer to that so I'm going to go with my green apple extra fine golden shimmer which is this one and that's just to give it a little bit of extra like um, sparkle and then I also wanted to add some mermaid scales and I wanted to go with something darker to give it the darker speckled look. So I wanted to go with my mermaid green. And I'm just going to use a little bit of it. It has like different tones of greens. Really, really pretty. Wanted to do that. And then lastly, I'm going to use my unicorn dandruff in the really pretty light green that I have. And I'm going to use maybe about three of these because I love how the shards look very heaping spoonfuls and that is pretty much it guys that's all i did i added for my mix i'm always so messy when i make my mixes but that's why i always put one of these little mats down because i could always just scoop it right back up so pretty and you can see there how it sparkles beautiful color I'm definitely going to be using these for my nails and I'm probably going to do a swatch and go ahead and list it on my Etsy and you could probably see the final look of it in my Etsy shop and if you're interested you could just shoot me an email you don't always have to shop straight from Etsy it does cost more to shop on Etsy so you can always make me a list of whatever you like on Etsy and I will definitely um, help you with with uh, what you need and the cost is definitely going to be a lot less if you just go straight through me with email uh, instead of using Etsy. Okay, just because um, Etsy does take out quite a bit of fees so I do have to price everything accordingly on Etsy but feel free to grab anything that's listed on Etsy. It is in stock. It is available. And you could just send me a list and I'll be happy to work with you on the side um, to uh, complete your order for a much, much better deal that way. Okay, that is it, guys. Here is my beautiful green mix. I do not have a name for it yet. I'm always open to suggestions as always. So pretty. I love the speckles in there, the, uh, the mermaid scales. It's really nice.
Make a Mix Monday. I know I haven't um, made one in a while, so just wanted to share a little quick one with you. Let you guys know I'm still around. Um, I just don't post as much on YouTube anymore. Uh, but you can still find me on Instagram, made to glitter cookie one. And you can find me on my Etsy, made to glitter cookie.etsy.com. And you can always just email me cookie with two E's 701 at gmail.com. And you can inquire on any bundles that you are interested in. That is it, guys. Until next time. Bye. Enjoy your week. Stay safe out there.